Welcome back, guys. I think this is one of my favorite segments of Weekend Smell, right? So we're not saying you should ditch your regular pizza spot. We wouldn't, you know, well, it wouldn't be cool to get your, your friends together. Wouldn't it be cool, I should say, to get your friends together and make pizza from scratch? Like, I think so. Chef Dominic Pearson is here to help you skip the pizza from the frozen aisle and, you know, elevate and up your skills a little bit. Hi, Dominic. Welcome to Weekend Smile. Dominic. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You are more than welcome. I mean, Dominic. this looks good. So good. And I am hungry. So I'm really excited about this, right? What would you say is the, the most important factor when you're considering to make a pizza? You need to buy a scale. A scale? You need a scale. You need to measure your ingredients. So when you're making pizza, everything is done by weight. So you're looking at percentages, how much percent water to flour. If you try and guess this by doing cups, you're, you're never going to get a consistent recipe. So to me, that's the biggest thing that get a scale and then whatever works or doesn't work with your dough, you can then adjust it because you'll know exactly what you did. If you're just kind of guessing, did I do, you know, level off the cup? Was it a loose? you know, a cup of flour, a mm -hmm. packed cup of flour, you'll never know exactly how much went into the, the dough recipe. And then it's just, it's hard to, to make changes and to improve. Well, Dominic, okay. I'm very happy you clarified because when you started by saying, let's get a scale <laughs> first, I was like, Dominic, what are you trying to say? Like, you, you're saying I should weigh before I eat this pizza, Dominic, because who's counting calories, okay? I'm counting taste, right? <laughs> but Dominic, you specialize not only in this type of pizza, but you have a variety of different pizza options because I did ask you for a pizza that does not have meat on there. And you said that this is like perfect for me. So yes. let's talk about the different styles of pizza that you actually have. So this is more or less a Neapolitan style of pizza, which is cooked at high heat. Um, it's a very simple recipe. So the, the dough is salt, flour, water, and yeast. That's it. There's no, I've seen people make pizza dough with all sorts of things on the internet. They're put in um, pancake mix and all these things. Wow. You don't want to do that. It's no? very, very simple, four ingredients. And the pizzas we have here today are, there's a margarita pizza, which is a classic, which is fresh mozzarella and basil, okay. to make crushed tomato sauce. And that's it, you don't, you know, that's how you, you know if it's a good pizza because you can mm -hmm. really taste in it everything. You're not just, you know, overloading it with a bunch of toppings and then essentially you're just eating the toppings. It doesn't... Okay. The more toppings, the better. The better Come yeah. on, Dom. Yeah. The variety of mean? toppings. So, you know, put a lot of different things on it. Don't put too much on top of the pizza itself. Okay. So you want all of those flavors, but you don't want to overload the pizza. You want to be able to pick it up and everything doesn't just fall right off. Okay, would you say, boy, you know, you, you're breaking Debbie's heart Damn, right you're now. you're crushing me, man. You're, you're really crushing are. me. You're crushing me with a full house. Would, but you, anyways. would you say that the margarita is your specialty? I'd say this style of pizza is my specialty, okay. doing uh, a Neapolitan style or okay. close to a Neapolitan where you do uh, very high temperature. Okay. Um, a New York would be another style, which is good for your home oven to do a New York style pizza because it's good for the temperature of your home oven. Um, New York style is suited for that. You wouldn't have the type of heat that you need to get the rise out of the dough if you're trying to do a Neapolitan at home. All right. Okay. Well, All right. Well, it's time to make pizza, Dominic. The taste of the pizza is in the kneading. We yeah. gotta stretch so it. So we're going to we're this. I'm going to walk you through stretching the dough. We're not using a rolling pin. I heard Debbie mention a rolling pin. Oh, it we was do in my not, script. I'm sorry. We I do not use rolling there. pins. We're going to stretch by hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. So you have your ball of dough here. It's already we've already put some flour on it. Each of you can take one. Just pull it over here. And what you're going to do first mm -hmm. is you're going to press it lightly. You're going to leave about an inch on the edge that you're not going to touch because that's going to be the edge of your pizza here okay. that you want to rise. So you don't want to push the air out of that. So you're just going to press your fingers down just like that. Okay. Flip it over, do the same thing on that side. So you want to define the edge, flip it back, and then you'll start pressing from the middle and pressing out to stretch the pizza a little. Okay. What if I wanted a flat bread? A flat bread then, in that case, you'd probably use a rolling pin. You'd flatten the ah, whole thing out. Or okay. if you wanted a very crispy crust pizza, then you'd want to flatten it out because then you don't want you don't want the bubbles and you don't want it rising. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, so should we you, try? You can go ahead. Just start pressing, pressing towards the edge. And you can turn it. So if you want to, or if you want to take yes, this one so. up and do it over there, right. and then flip it over. All right, so flip it now. Yeah. Okay. And you want to do the same thing just to define that edge. Okay. And then you'll start pressing. You can flip it back. 
So this side is, there's a smooth side on the dough okay. based on how you had it in the container. We want to keep the smooth side down because we're going to have to slide the pizza into an oven. Ah, okay. So you don't want it sticking. Okay. So, then so you, how far out do I stretch it? Like how thin, how thin can I get my this pizza? This will stretch to about a nine or 10 inch pizza. Okay. So after you've done that and you've flattened it, you'd put one hand down Flat and you kind of pull away. Okay. And then you rotate the pizza and you pull. So after I take one hand down and pull so away. So put, put one hand here to hold here, it in place. Uh -huh. And then your fingers under the edge of the dough. Okay. And just gently, you don't want to, you don't want to squeeze like it. You just that. want to use the weight of the, the dough and let it ah. just stretch gently. All right. Okay. And then you can pick it up. And if you want to toss it in the air and take your chances. Yes. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Let's do that. Go tell. You Toss sure it, Debbie. Yeah, man. So Let you me want, to, sure it's want your to shake pizza. a little more of the. It's, oh. You want to shake a little more of the flour off, so you don't have flour everywhere. All right. Okay. So stretch that a little. So I toss it now. So you can put it up. So you want to put it on the back of your knuckles like this. Mm -hmm. So I just want to toss it. All right. Yeah. Go and tell. Pull apart a little bit, and you're going to throw it up in the air and mm -hmm. push with one hand to get it to spin. Okay. So pull apart a little bit. Woo! <laughs> So you want it, what, what you're trying to do is to get it to spin. Why? And then Mine that stretches it out. Mine drops <laughs> Tell you I'm exotic. Huh? <laughs> I'm tired, hold on, no. And it's something that takes practice. So uh, I yes, think a lot, of, an art I think a a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. they do this and the pizza doesn't come out exactly how they want and then they give up. So it's okay. something that takes a bit of practice. All I don't right. even know if I'm doing mine correctly, you know, down bottom. You have to press down the middle. So press then you want to, the so middle. you want to okay. press the middle now to stretch ah, the pizza. Ah, I get off. you. All right. So cool. you have your pizza, and what we'll do is we'll move it to the we'll move it to the peel now. So this it's is your pizza peel. It's actually very cold though. Do I should I be using a, a dough that has this temperature? So yeah. the the trick you want to get it to room temperature normally, but okay. the tricky thing is room temperature varies a lot. So like 90 degrees in the middle of the summer room temperature, it's going to get it's going to get too warm. It's going to get overproofed and it's going to be very hard to stretch, like it will tear easily. Right, so thanks. as it is now, what you're doing, you can just pull your hands yeah. a little further apart and the dough will stretch. Right. So you don't have to good. throw it, like the throwing it is... It's just style. Is, is if you, yeah, style, but you can have, this is really good. So you have a nice Thank stretch you. pizza. Thank you. Mine all right? So, I do this, Dom. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little flour on the peels. Okay. And then we're going to put the, yeah, put the dough down, and this is so that it doesn't stick. Okay. So after you've put the, the pizza down, you want to give it a little shake and make sure it's moving. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll start putting sauce on it. Okay. Oh, nice. So you can just put a spoon, a spoon or two of sauce, and we're going to spread it on top of the pizza. That's good. Yeah. That should be good. So because it's, this is going to be a thin crust pizza, you can't overload it too much with toppings. Otherwise, it will stick or it may tear okay. uh, or make it harder to bake. Like is the pizza in the you dough do or some... is it in the topping? Like the true essence the of pizza, pizza is in the dough? pizza is in the dough. Ah, okay. So, you know, there, there's a marinara pizza, which is just the dough, sauce and garlic. And that's it, nothing else. A little okay. Parmesan cheese. Okay. Okay. And that's like a classic it. style of pizza. Okay. So you're, in that case, what you're really tasting then is you're tasting the dough, you're tasting the tomatoes. And the cheese. The cheese. Okay, and it's normally Parmesan. You, so you'll use Parmesan to finish it. What we have here is that we'll put fresh mozzarella on it. So you can take mm. a few pieces up. Mozzarella. That's, this is enough yes. sauce? Love that. All right. That's good. Okay, how can I Jamaicanize my, my pizza dom? I have made a corn pork pizza, so I put corn pork scotch bonnet on it and then I boiled some yam and shaved it on top of it like mm. truffles. It grows in the ground, it's just like a truffle, wow. same thing. So you can call it a Trelawney truffle if you want. Okay, Ooh. what about ackee? I haven't done any ackee yet. Okay, so this is good? You can put a little more here and okay. then when you put this in the oven, so it doesn't have to cover it completely. But when you put it in the oven, then the cheese will melt and it will start to, to spread a little bit and you'll get you know, something that then starts to look like this. All right, I think we should be good with that. Okay. Maybe and enough sauce though. No, it's not, you can not add a lot of sauce. sauce, come on. For the pork, you're not going to add this. That one is pork, you. so you can add that. <laughs> For you, Debbie, just Thank some you. basil. Oh, yeah. sorry, you need to get your cheese first. Thank you. So put my pork on. Yes, you, go ahead. All right. 
and then you can add some basil to it as well. So now let's talk about, so, so, so I can do this in the oven at home or, you know, because I, I, I probably won't have this at home. Yes, you can, this big piece of oven. oven. You can do it in your home oven. One of the things that you'd want to do is you're going to want to have a pizza peel because what you, you want to get the pizza into the oven on a hot surface. Okay, so it has so to be hot. You want the surface hot. So when, when the pizza hits the hot surface, it's going to start to bake the heat immediately gets transferred to the dough and it starts to, to expand the gases that are in there. It gets that rise and it gets that light crust. Okay. If you put it on a baking tray and then put that in the oven, the tray has to heat up, everything has to heat up and then it, it's going to cook. Okay. It's going to cook very slowly. Okay. So if you have a slab of steel you can put in the oven, if you have one of these trays, you flip it over and you can bake on the top of it. Okay. And, it and you'd, want to slide in, you'd want to slide this pizza then into a hot oven. And then how okay. long would it take for me to have a good ready to eat pizza? Uh, in your home oven, it's going to take you about six or seven minutes. Okay. All right. To finish cooking. Uh, for, for, for dough like this? Yes. I really? have to ask you though, Dom, what about the importance of pre-cooking um, your toppings? Is, it, is that important? Is it, it necessary? It depends on the type of topping you ha you're using and it depends on how long you're going to cook it. Okay. So for instance, in this oven, the pizza cooks in about two minutes. If I was using something like a fresh sausage, I wouldn't use it, I would want to pre-cook it a little before it goes in this oven because with that, in that short cook time, it may not cook all the way through. Okay. If I'm doing it in my home oven, it's going to be six or seven minutes, it's enough time for it to cook. Okay, gotcha. So it really depends on your toppings, you can decide if it's something that needs to cook, uh, pre-cook, I'll, I'll par cook bacon a little bit if I'm doing yeah. it in this oven, so it has you know, enough time then to get all the way cooked and crisp. All right, well Dom, done. Thank you. Thank you so um, much. Any Instagram, any yeah. online media, we can get you to... You uh, can follow me yeah. on Instagram. It's okay. Dom's underscore Pearson. And you can see the pizzas that I'm making. Uh, I've done a few pizza classes. So whenever those are happening, um, I'll post those as well. So people nice. can follow, they can see the pizzas. Okay. You know, feel free to send me a message, ask me questions about dough or anything else. All um, right. well, happy to share I'll and happy to help. You. I'll be calling you like, Dom, yes. please. How do we do this? Yeah. Well, Dominic, thank you so much. <laughs> thank for, you so much for having for, me. For showing us how to make pizza, Chef Dominic Pearson. The kitchen elevation doesn't end here, guys. We have more tips and tricks after the break. Don't go anywhere.